Hi, I'm Rocky Nichols, and this is Funny Guy Food Review. Today, I'm reviewing something that is by massive request. Squid. This one is in soy sauce. Squid, also known as a cephalopod. Cephala means head. Pod means feet or leg. So I guess you call it a leg head. But it is basically a head that swims around with a whole bunch of legs or tentacles behind it. It's also known as calamari. I don't think there'll be much resemblance to calamari in this can, however. Very colorful can. I really like the detail and the picture of the cephalopod or squid. This one is in soy sauce. I'm not a fan of soy sauce. It's sour, bitter, and salty none of which I really care for. In combination, it compounds the dislike. But we'll see if we can overcome that and taste the squid. Wonderful packaging. Even gives you instructions, like I usually do, to open the can. The due date. Hmm, confusing. 2013, 12, 16, which is my birthday. So is that December 16 of 2013? Hmm, if so, it's really old. Maybe the Asians use a different dating system. Not sure. What else is on this can? Perhaps there is uh, ingredients made in Taiwan. Ooh. Don't you like all that writing? That is so beautiful. And the nutrition facts. Serving size, five pieces. Calories, 113. Nothing else on there. Significant. I guess we just have a go at it. Of course, the usual precautions. Everything, throw away, absorb it in a towel, throw away utensils, paper plates, and of course my usual standby, saltine crackers. So let's grip it. The ring with one finger, thumb, delivering opposing pressure. Ah, it, the can bellied out, indicating ingoing air. Rotate the can 90 degrees and then another 90 degrees to a full 180. Reverse your finger position, apply pressure to pull up the lid, carefully moving all other flanges and body parts away from the sharp edge. Oh, don't get too carried away. And of course at the very end, you work it like a hinge. Do you hear that little snap? Hopefully no oily particles will fool around. Now, I don't see a whole lot of, or any fluid. Oh, there is some fluid in the bottom. Let's discard this dangerous weapon immediately. Take a look at that. They almost look like they're fried. Ooh, pungent smell. What are those? Uh, that there looks like a selection of tentacles. You know, I just can't pass that up. Who wouldn't give up the opportunity to eat a selection of tentacles? The flavor definitely blossoms the longer you chew, but I have nothing to compare this to. Hmm. This looks like a slice right down the middle of the squid tube. That's what I imagine it would be like to pull a piece of old gum that was stuck to the bottom of his chair and chew on it. Or maybe, 
Maybe an old balloon that burst. Wow. Texture's getting very low marks on this one. Let's try to figure out the flavor. I'm not sure what this tastes like. There's a little bit of sweet in it. There must be some kind of spice in there, but I can't identify it. Definitely chewy. Okay, there's a ring that looks more like the calamari. At least the shape of a calamari you'd get in a restaurant. Doubt if it's going to change the flavor, though. That is a little different, though. That's more like a string of fettuccine. They got flung onto the floor and you missed it for a week or so. Hmm. Struggling with this. I'm struggling with this can. What's that? All right, there's some more of those tentacles. So I suppose if we put some of these pieces together, we'd get a squid about that long. I'd call that a baby squid. All right, let's see if the crackers helps this out. The squids have eyes, because I think those are eyes looking at me. What do you think? I think those are squid eyes. Well, the cracker kind of uh, cancels out any of the flavor that's in there. Not that it was overpowering, but it didn't add anything either. Let's see if the body pieces are any better. I always smell stuff. Why do I do that? All right, I'm not sure what to do with this stuff. It doesn't really taste good. Definitely chewy. Looks awful. I guess I think my best recommendation for this is fish bait. Because these little pieces are really tough. You can stick those on a hook and the fish ain't going to pull them off. I gotta believe that this is attractive to other fish. I mean, there's squid live in the sea and they get eaten by a lot of stuff, so they're a natural bait. No offense to the manufacturer of this food, but I'm not finding the purpose of it. I will continue to research and try other brands, but I'm just not a fan of this particular flavor, I guess you'd say, and the texture. I guess that's all I got to say. Maybe you should give it a try yourself and see if I'm wrong. I'm always willing to listen, change my opinion, if you give me a reason to. Maybe there's something I have to eat with this, I'm not sure. Maple syrup, maybe that'll work. Well, until next time, thanks for watching.